Welcome to CCG TV, the Keep Columbus Beautiful Earth Notes. We are so happy that you tuned in. Happy New Year to you all. I know that you are excited about the beginning of this year, and we have a lot of things that's going to be going on. For those of you all who are just viewing for the first time CCG TV Earth Notes, the Keep Columbus Beautiful Commission mission is to engage and educate individuals to be better stewards to our environment by protecting the environment, eliminating litter and blight, and just being a good steward of things that give us life and so we really do need your help we need for you if you're not recycling you can call 311 and request a recycling bin today and then we also would love to have you to be engaged in some of our programs and projects you know as we travel up and down our roadways we see a lot of trash nowadays so we're encouraging everyone to please not throw trash out of your windows as you're traveling and then also to make sure that when you put your trash out for trash collection day that you secure it. You secure those bags, put them in another can, make sure the top is on there so that if you're out there overnight, which they should not be because the law says that we need to put them out at least at seven o'clock the day of pickup. So if you all could help us with that, that certainly would help us to keep Columbus clean and beautiful. So with that, I want you to know I have two wonderful guests. My very first guest is Henry. He's from um, our Chattahoochee Riverkeeper and we worked together for quite a bit uh, with our Help the hooch clean up activity. So, Henry, welcome to our set. We, Thank uh, you. We're happy that you had the opportunity to come. I'm happy to be here. It's always an honor. Yeah, it is. And you know what? It's good to have someone taking care of our water waves, our watersheds, and um, because we can't live without water. Well, and that that waterway, the Chattahoochee River, is the reason why Columbus was founded in the first place, I in know. the location that it was, because mm -hmm. this is as far north as the. Uh, the shipping boats could come until they hit the fall line, and so that's why that's why it is where it where it is. And and uh, to to take a note that you mentioned about trash uh, ending up in our streets, that's right. mm -hmm. to tie that into our waterways, when that trash ends up in our streets from blowing out of the back of pickup trucks or, mm -hmm. or people littering, uh, rainwater washes it into storm drains, and storm that's drains. Right. If a lot of people don't know this, they're connected to our local creeks, mm -hmm. and then those creeks are connected to our rivers, and our rivers are connected to our ocean. So right. that one piece of trash that blows out into the street, uh, it ends up in the creek, and then the river, and then all the way down to the ocean. So if people could just be you know, mindful of that. You know, you're absolutely right. I actually, during the Christmas holidays, my sister was visiting, and we went downtown and just was viewing. The water was a little high because we had a lot of rain. And uh, and so my my brother-in-law said, well, um, how did Columbus get its name? You know, and I, he said, was it after Christopher Columbus? And then, so we started to do a little bit of research, and it actually was. And then they talked about that that river, the Chattahoochee River, at the channel where it is, mm -hmm. was the, the deepest point or something where the cargoes can come in and out, and that, that uh, actually started started out as like a cotton place and it went to steel. That's right. Yeah, so it's, we had a lot of history with that river. And it provides our drinking water that's that right. is um, so so well taken care of by Columbus Water Works and, and, yeah, and right. sent to our homes. But yeah, because of that river, we were founded here and because of that river, we're able to continue with, uh, with nice, uh, you know, good, uh, healthy, clean water for our, mm -hmm. our, our families to drink while we're here. Absolutely. Now tell us a little bit about what's going on because the water has been high from all of the rain and so, What's going on from that yeah, so perspective? The, the last numbers that I saw was that we ended 2018 um, 18 inches above average on rainfall for the wow. year. And you know, uh, there's a lot of uh, interesting or, or funny memes and things going around social media We're talking about, you know, in 2018, it just it rained all year. And it, mm -hmm. it kind of felt like that. Yeah. And uh, you know, being, uh, being the organization that we spend the majority of our time on the river, we were definitely uh, definitely having to adjust, you know, some of our projects for the mm -hmm. year because we were getting a, a lot of rainfall. And so, yeah, the Chattahoochee River has been at flood stage for the last, uh, it seems like, the last several weeks. And, yeah. Um, it is receding with the, the rainfall kind of backing off. And, uh, yeah. and you know, with that kind of that, that high high amount of, of rainfall and that flooding, we see, mm -hmm. uh, you know, dangerous conditions on the river with fast-moving water. But yes. as, it, as that rainfall recedes and the water levels drop, the river goes back to being a, a safe place for people to, to, to recreate and enjoy. 
and that's good. And, and what about the fishing now with the river? Uh, the fishing is always the better um, when when we're not in a in a, in a flood stage. The the mm -hmm. really murky water and the fast currents affect fishing. But now that all of that is going back to normal, the fishing, especially this time of year, will be will be getting hot soon. We'll have yeah. the uh, the striped and the hybrid bass migrating up from Lake Eufaula. And we'll have a crappy season. We'll be starting okay. up soon, so everybody can get the fish fryers ready. I know I'm gonna pull my fish fryer out of the attic soon. I know that's right. Yeah. Mm. So you know what? It not only does that um, Chattahoochee River provide water for us, it also provides food for us through those fish that live there. And a lot of people in our community actually go down and fish. You know, once you're going down and walking around the trails, you can see them out there fishing. And sometimes I actually was down once, and I um, it was a catfish that was pulled out. That was probably about this. It was pretty big catfish. It's a big catfish. Mm -hmm. and so, what other types of fish that do, is in the in the river? One, one thing that makes our river special is that, uh, especially in, in this area in the middle watershed mm -hmm. that, that Columbus is in, uh, we have uh, shoal bass, which is a, a oh, native okay. species of fish that is only found in the Apalachicola, Chattahoochee, and the Flint Rivers. Oh, is that right? And uh, that fish draws in people from all over the world to our community in order to, to catch it and then to kind of mark it off their, their bucket list of having Is that right? Yeah. And so how big do they usually get? They don't get very big, but mm -hmm. they but they live in current, so they're very strong fish. So they, oh, okay. they put up a really a very sporting uh, a very sporting fight. But there are, you know, there's fishing guide services in the area that that work with clients all the way from Australia that have wow. flown in to, to go fishing in Columbus and 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 uh, and you know to enjoy our Chattahoochee River. Yeah, and you know I tell you what, when you're down um, down at Rotary Park mm -hmm. and that that's one of the really areas where the boats kind of go in, right? Yep, that's right. And uh, often times we fisher fishermen and fishing fishing women who are, well, that are fishing there will go in with all their supplies and sometimes we find quite a bit of trash left from fishing unfortunately that's true you know and uh, so that's a harm that's harmful to the fish habitat that's there mm -hmm. so it's still important for us to make sure that even when we're even out with leisure time and recreational time on the river to make sure that we take care of that river that's right, especially those of us that, that use the river more than others, like those That's of us right. that, that fish a lot or, or even, uh, you know, canoe or kayak or enjoy the rafting here in Columbus. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, being the ones that, you know, we're using the river the most, we're spending the most time there, we should be the most motivated right. to, to keep it in, in the most natural state possible. And, and part of that is, is removing our trash when we leave. That's right. And I want to thank you for taking on the responsibility of being one of the chairs of the Help to Hooch this year. Uh, it's it, Just like being here today, it's a huge honor and, and, and uh, I'm, I'm grateful to have been given the opportunity. Well, good, because I tell you that project now is the largest in the state of Georgia, probably um, in the United States, but you know, it's a task. We, we Would you say so? We need to do our research so that we can actually claim that it is okay. the largest river cleanup in the United States because in the little bit of searching I've done, I haven't okay. been able to find anything that's pretty let's, let's make that an initiative for this year is that, that we'll be, be able good. to mm -hmm. actually stamp it with it's the largest cleanup in the United States. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and that means that, you know, for you all who are viewing, you all need to be a part of that. We have our schools included. We probably need to get them a little bit more engaged in our campus cleanups. But individuals in your communities is so important for you ought to take on the responsibility to clean up on the outside of your home in that area and make sure that you know trash that's there it's really contained so that we can do our best to take care of what really gives us life and that's the Chattahoochee River we depend on it for everyday usage for bathing for cooking for all of that and so it's so important for us to really take on our individual responsibility and then collectively we can be responsible but you all need to help us by volunteering and helping us to clean up when we have our help the hooch activity and we've just found out too that we are going to have it the second Second Saturday um, in uh, October of 2019, mm -hmm. That's right. and so we will have it the second sat second Saturday, second Friday. That Friday will be our campus cleanups, and then we'll have the community wide cleanup. Um, you know, the, uh, on the Saturday, um, one of the goals that we're, we've taken on with Keep Columbus Beautiful is we want to work with uh, communities against drugs and mm -hmm. neighborhood watch uh, uh, groups and try and get them involved in cleaning up during that same time that we're doing our Help to Hooch Cleanup activities. Sounds great. Yep. So thank you again for all that you do. Sure. I, we do appreciate it. Now, if anyone wants to get in contact with you, how can they do so? Uh, through our website, uh, www.chattahoocheeriverconservancy.org. They can email me, henry, at chattahoocheeriverconservancy.org.
www.ghostbusters.org. Okay. And then we're on Facebook and Instagram under the same name. Wonderful. So you all know how to get in contact with Henry. And we are all looking for membership. So we would love to have your membership both with the Chattahoochee River Conservancy yes, as well as with Keep Columbus Beautiful. All right. So now that you know that you can be a good stu steward by taking care of our water sources, our water sheds, then make sure that you stay tuned in because we're going to be talking about planting some trees around Columbus. We'll be right back with our very next guest, so thank you again. We'll be looking forward to seeing you in a few minutes. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling Citizen Service Center. Hey, I know that we only have once a week garbage pickup now, and since my pickup day is on Monday and that's a holiday, when are you picking up my trash? Ma'am, your makeup day will be on Wednesday. Okay, but what if my pickup day is on Tuesday and that's a holiday? Your makeup day will be on Wednesday. Well, what about Thursday? It's the day before. If your garbage pickup day falls on a holiday during the week, your makeup day will be on Wednesday. So what if my pickup day is on Wednesday? That's simple. We don't pick up on Wednesday. Welcome back to CCG TV. I told you all we had a wonderful guest and I'm so excited. Lorenzo Jones is a part of the Urban Forestry and Beautification Division of Columbus Consolidated Government. And he has a wonderful role at this time of the year because it's tree planting season. And for all of you all who are viewing and um, if you want to maybe have a tree planted on right away in front of your home, you can call 311 and make a request. And then someone from the Urban Forestry and Beautification Division will plant a tree but thank you so much for being with us today it is indeed a privilege wonderful now tell us a little bit about you Alonzo and then uh, then we'll start talking about what you do okay I am a graduate of Kendrick High School okay I've been with the city of Columbus for 18 years mm. uh, I currently hold the position excuse me of the uh, adopt spot coordinator okay. and that program uh, was brought on board about five years ago mm -hmm. and what that entails is uh, the citizens of the of the Columbus area can agree to adopt a spot uh, on city right away for a period of one year and what we'll okay. do for their efforts is erect a sign okay and they'll maintain that for a period of one year and so they actually have to go down and kind of clean it up? Or, yes, ma'am. Right? They'll Cut maintain. They plant can, more plant materials that's and right. things like that. Improve, improve the area. Okay. Exactly. Well, good, good. That's mm -hmm. a good project because we're all that's trying it. to keep Columbus beautiful. Absolutely. All Absolutely. right. Absolutely. So it's, we're in the midst of tree planting season, and we do have Arbor Day getting ready to come up in that February. Is that is correct. And so um, tell us a little bit about your tree planting and how, you know, they may be able to contact you all to have a... She planted it on okay. public right away. Okay. What? Well, yes, ma'am. That process will entail calling 311, like you earlier said, mm -hmm. and we will uh, take that that uh, work order and uh, uh, go out to the property okay. and examine and see if we could put if it's uh, if we could put a large maturing or a small maturing tree in okay. that in that area, according to the overhead wiring. Right. Uh, if there's overhead wiring, then we want to put a small maturing tree in that area. Okay. Yes, and so you all actually will go out and kind of survey. That's And then determine what type of trees That's uh, right. could We're be planted in that, that area. That's right. Right. That's right. So you all just know that you all, you can request a tree and then they'll come out and plant it. That's and right. And take care of it. Make sure that it's being watered during the time that that's right. once you plant it, right? Yes, that is right. And then um, prune it, I guess, during the pruning season. That. Excellent point, Gloria. Okay. We ask that the citizens, we'll do all the maintaining on, uh, of the tree. Okay. During its lifetime. We ask that the citizens do no cutting, pruning whatsoever. Wonderful. The city will take care of all of that. We'll water the tree for a period of one year okay. to get it started. Um, so I appreciate you bringing it to the forefront. Good. Now, I understand that 700 trees have been ordered for this tree planting season and they are all looking for a home more or less. That is correct. Right. So, please call 311 and request a tree and hopefully you'll be able to get one that you would like to have, you know, with requesting that tree through 311. And then you all would go out and plant and put one of the gator bags on it so that's that correct. it'll be water, have like a little drip line of water that, that's, that uh, to keep correct. it alive. Yes. And then, um, you, by the time next fall come around, you know, it'll be sustained. I mean, it's stable yes. enough to not yes. to have any water on That's a regular right. basis That's and right. things like That's that. That's right. Right. Yeah. So why is it important for us to take care of our trees? Well, our trees are very, very important in our environment as mm -hmm. far as we've all heard about 
uh, the air. The air quality, air purif that's right. Purification, then the roots also uh, will filter, the, filter our water. Right. Uh, very important, so, and help out in pollution. So it's very important that we take care of our trees. That's right. Uh, for our generation and future generations. That's right, mm -hmm. and so, you know, if you all know that there is some um, right-of-way property that belongs to the city that's in your community that's bare, um, if you could call that in too, then that may be a great project for them to have different kinds of trees planted. It, it just kind of beautify the area when Absolutely. you have things like that. Absolutely. So Absolutely. not uh, so you can not only call if you want to have a tree on right away in your front yard. You can also call if there are other areas that's in your community that need some trees, and uh, it'll help beautify that area. Again, I just want to thank you for what you do every day, all day, and for the time that you've spent at Columbus Consolidated Government in the Urban Forestry Department and giving back to this community, you know, through the work that you do. Gloria, it is indeed a privilege to serve our people of Columbus. I know that's right. Well, I know that you all know that we need to take care of our water, and we also need to take care of our trees. We do have Arbor Day coming up pretty soon. We're going to celebrate Arbor Day on the um, 3rd Saturday of February and we will be at Lake Bottom Park. We're going to plant some trees and we're going to have a lot of uh, tree care um, people who are in the industry. They're going to be there and talking about that. So we want to engage some of our school age students and people from the community. So put it on your calendar the, the third Saturday of uh, February. That's going to be Arbor Day for our um, our area and Columbus was the first city in the state of Georgia to earn the title of Tree City USA and so w that's why we have so that many trees um, um, being planted on a regular basis on an annual basis anyway that is correct. and a tree budget to make sure that we have the money to purchase the trees that's right. and and so that's why it's important for you all to call and help us out um, with making sure that we have trees planted in areas that we may not have um, looked at in a good long time that's right, right? That's, right. that's right so make sure that we're taking care of our trees make sure that we make sure that we're taking care of our watersheds um, because both of them pro provide life-giving opportunities for us we can't live without clean air we can't live without clean water so it's That's important right. for us to make sure that we're doing our part and again I want to thank all of you all who participated in our shoe recycling campaign we collected 7,100 pair of shoes and um, so those shoes are diverted from our landfill extending the landfill life and then they're, we're giving those to third world developing countries and someone else can use those so we're recycling those but we could not have done that without your support and now as we go in this 2000 as we are in the 2019 year we need your continued support so make sure that you stay tuned to CCG TV to get more information about a lot of different things but particularly the Keep Columbus Beautiful Commission because we want to make sure that you are a good steward to our environment remember it's up to you and myself to take care of what gives us life and we need to really take care of this litter problem. So if you see a lot of junk um, on someone else's property, if high grass, and you see junk cars, um, please call 311 and report it. If there is trash that's outside of your um, home, we'd love for you all to take on the responsibility to make sure that you can clean that up. If it's too much for you to do, then you can call 311 and request someone to come out. Bottom line is that we need for you to be the eyes, the ears, the hands for our environment because it can't speak for itself. And we just need to be good stewards to make sure that we take care of what gives us life. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you the next time right here on CCG TV, the Keep Columbus Beautiful Earth Notes. Mm -hmm.